Myelination Axon diameter and temperature all have an effect on the conduction rate of an electrical impulse. Propagation of action potentials along axons of neurons that are not covered by a myelin sheath requires that all of the membrane must undergo depolarization. This kind of conduction occurs along unmyelinated axons and is called continuous conduction. In the peripheral nervous system, Schwann cells form myelin sheaths by wrapping their cell membranes in multiple layers around an axon. The axon is now electrically insulated except for the gaps, called nodes of Ranvier, where the membrane is exposed. Because myelin electrically insulates an axon and prevents ion currents across the membrane, depolarization of myelinated axons occurs only at the nodes of Ranvier. This form of conduction, where the signal appears to leap from node to node, is called saltatory conduction. Energy efficiency and longer distance between depolarization sites make saltatory conduction much more rapid than continuous conduction. Larger diameter axons conduct action potentials more rapidly than smaller diameter axons. This is because there is less resistance to carrying a charge in larger axons. Axons that are cooled, as with application of ice, conduct action potentials less rapidly than axons that are warmer. Nervous signals are generated by stimuli. Mechanical or chemical stimuli generate graded potentials. Small depolarizations or hyperpolarizations will not generate an action potential. Larger graded depolarizations will generate some action potentials. When the stimulus is increased and there are even greater and more frequent depolarizations, an increased frequency of action potentials results.